Ports Jersey right now operates 8,300 square kilometers of airspace. We handle over 120,000 aircraft movements through our zone. It's a very complicated stretch. Ports of Jersey had the British Isles' first fully integrated zone and tower electronic flight strip operation. These are firsts that we accomplish here in Jersey. We are investing, in fact implementing, uh, the British Isles' first remote tower. We are replicating a conventional tower. So this is a contingency position in case anything happens to our real tower. So we have cameras mimicking the view that would be from windows. You should be able to see pretty much everything you could do uh, and even with the input devices from here controlling cameras actually optimise a conventional view. Being an island airport, we just can't call on help from the airport up the road, so we need to be very, very assured that we can remain open, safe and secure. Remote tower technology, we can achieve the same thing, exactly the same thing, using cameras and we can have a new tower with brand new, high functioning equipment for probably a fifth of the cost of what a traditional tower would cost to build. But you're looking at a very similar view to the view that you're used to in a conventional tower. So really, part of it is getting your head around the idea that you're not looking out of the window when you're looking through cameras. We have three 43-inch screens here showing 11 cameras, which are 240 degrees. Ports of Jersey works with leading edge technology providers. That combined with our leading air traffic controllers who are all operational, we can bring together a marriage of operational capability and technological solutions unmatched. Because we've been involved in technology at quite an early stage actually, um, we're quite advanced along the road I think in, in remote town technology. So we do have a lot of knowledge behind us, we've got a lot of experience behind us and we'd really like to expand that to other people who are interested in using the technology at their own airfields and we think we could be really valuable in that. Sure, we've made some mistakes along the way. When you're working at leading edge technologies and in, in business processes, it's natural that you would do that when you're in uncharted waters. But we are very keen to assist other air traffic units to develop their operations and their business in a way and take advantage of the learnings that we've had along the way. Come and talk to us. We've been there, we've done it. You know, we would like to talk to you about it.